Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Supermarket Simulator. How is everybody doing today? You guys ready to make some money? I can stop spending money on product. Maybe I'd make some money, but I can't. I'm addicted to buying product. So, anyone else, like, when you talk about your store and you say the word product, anyone else think of, like, drugs? You know? It makes me feel like I'm a drug dealer. Like, oh, I got, I got lots of product in the back. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I watch too many drug movies. Who knows? What's up, vampire? How's it going? What's up, Andy Fry? What's up, Pig Hammer? Yeah, I remembered. You know what's funny, Pig Hammer? My last stream, um, I remembered as well. Well, kind of. I set up the announcement, and then I just never... Like, I set it up, and I was like, okay, I'll hit enter when, when we're going to start streaming, and I just totally forgot. Hello from the Netherlands. All right. Sounds good, man. We're going big tonight. We go big every night. I mean, you know that. I am doing wonderful. I had a rough day of recording, though. Rough day of recording. The uh, trying to build in the forest, and it wasn't our sons of the forest, and it wasn't cooperating with me. So, um, but I got it done in the end. So it's all good. But yeah, it's a bit of a bit of um. There's a little bit of green hell in there, you know, like building stuff not working properly. But no, not as bad as green hell. Sons of the sons of the forest. Developers actually care about fixing their building issues, although they still have them. It's not it's not as bad as Green Hell. Walter White always referred to stuff as product. Yeah, maybe maybe that's what it is. I have seen Breaking Bad multiple times. I'm a store manager of a supermarket and spent hours a week in, in this game. Oh wow! So you do this at home, and then you come here, you come home and do it here for free. That's awesome. I noticed this is coming to PS5. It's in the coming soon to PlayStation Store. Really? Seriously? I didn't even hear about that. Um, well, that's awesome, dude. Never get high in your own supply. Yeah, but not everyone always follows the rules. Good there. We will be opening shortly. Uh, we do need some oils. Trying to spend all my money before I open up. It's gonna be hard though, because like a lot of stuff isn't that expensive. Depends on what you're buying. Um, oh, what is this? Uh, that's um, lasagna and French fries. We get lasagna and French fries. French fries for. Wait, how much was that? Holy moly. Okay. You have to take out a bank loan just to make that order. All right, fair enough. We're, we'll be all right. We gotta fill it up with two more items. How about hand soap? Here we go. Large sushi equals money gone. I know. I know. So true. True words were never spoken. I'm gonna... Oh, maybe I'm not. I was like, I'm going to stock this myself. And I was like, maybe I don't want to. And then I looked and it was and it was full. So it's like, what's the point? If you check out the coming soon part, it says it in there. Well, that's great news, man. That is great news. I want you console people to be able to play this as well. I'm going to be playing console soon. I'm, I'm almost positive I'm going to start up a, a series. Not a series. I won't record it and put it on YouTube because I don't think people would watch it. At least not a lot of people, but uh, I'm definitely going to start playing MLB The Show again. I've been watching someone play it and I was like, oh my goodness, i got to play this game again. Don't forget to hit the like button, people. Um, I'm going to be... I'm not sure what my streaming schedule is going to look like for the rest of the week. But I'm going to let you know right now, if people show up to, th to this stream today, I mean show up in numbers, and everyone likes the video, and... You know, just get a lot of interaction here. I'm going to be streaming this game. If 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 things... I don't want to make promises. But I am looking to streaming for the next four days. I will not be able to stream s Sunday. Because it's Easter and we're going to, we're going to family's house. Um, so I think to make up for that, I might just stream the next four days. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So as long if, if like a lot of people don't show up for this, then maybe that'll change. But, you know... If we get a decent amount of people in here, then I'm going to definitely stream for the next four days. And um, 
the best way for you to get more people in here is to like the video. Keep looking at this supermarket style of game and can't even find it an interest. Let's go back to survival games. Well, I, I, I've never left survival games. I've been doing daily episodes of Sons of the Forest. Except for the past couple, like, I, I slipped a couple other games in there. But they're all survival games. I will not just ever, I won't just ever do just um, sim games. I love sim games, but I love survival games too, so. Not the next four days straight. <laughs> You crazy nut. It's going. There you go. Have a nice day. Yes, that you heard that right, Kodos. There will be no Sunday Sons of the Forest stream due to Easter. But Kodos, we need to find out from the Cage Crew. Um, I'm supp like, I'm supposed to be doing one video a week with them. Are they okay giving up Saturday? If if they want to if they want to do Saturday, we'll do Saturday Sons of the Forest. If the Cage Crew doesn't care, then I will do this Saturday. So. Um, we got to find out what they want to do. I'm cool either way. I'd rather do this because it, it does better views, but if, you know, if the cage could, you know, hey, cage, we miss Sons of the Forest. We want to play Sons of the Forest with you, then absolutely we'll do Sons of the Forest. You want to see more in Shrouded? You know what's funny? I put up that episode of Shrouded. It did absolutely abysmal. Abysmal. I went, I went and looked at my analytics on YouTube with that video. Now, it's only been up for, like, you know, a couple hours, but... It, man, nobody is watching it. So uh, I'm not really sure what's going on in the shroud. I'm going to give it another day or two, but I'm kind of I'm a little surprised. Um, I feel like that update was a good update. Uh, it's definitely got issues, but I figured people would have been uh, uh, interested in it, but they just, nobody cares. Yeah, the problem is we won't know when an update's coming because the developer... Talked about an update one day, and everyone jumped down his throat when it wasn't out on time. Not everyone, but a lot of people did. And now he doesn't want to talk about updates anymore. So now we're never going to know when an update's coming. You know, this is a, you just got to select a select few ruining it for everybody. It's it's it ain't fair. Have a good one, Psycho Sid. Holy crap, Chris Peters! Oh man. Oh, my goodness. Um, thank you very much for that incredibly generous super chat. Just here to show some support for Cage and his growing grocery empire. Thank you very much, Chris. See, stuff like that's going to really make me stream over the next four days as well. <laughs> that's what I call engagement. What's up, my high? Three twenty-five. I should have brought down a drink. I'm thirsty now. <sighs> I'm trying to be nice to customers, man. I'm trying. I'm trying. I had a rough day today. All right, sir. And you just gave me a $100 bill. <sighs> okay, I got to meditate a little bit, I think. Here you go, sir. Have a nice day. <sighs> okay. Let it go, Cage. Let it go. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, bro. Okay. All right. I think, I think I'm getting over it. I think I'm getting over it. See, I like to hold in my rage. I really do. And this is a real life thing for me, too. I have... I have... Not serious rage. I used to have serious rage issues. But since I've gotten older, they've been less and less. I mean, you know, a little bit better with it. I try and, I try and hold in my rage issues. But um, here's the problem, though. I feel like if I hold in the rage, it always comes out in another way. Like, you know... Like, something annoying will happen. And I'll be like, okay, let's not go crazy here. Let's not go crazy. And then, like, I'll be like, okay, I held that in. It's passed. But then something very small will happen later on that day, and I'll just lose my mind, you know? Uh, but I don't know. I think I've gotten better with it. Like, there'll be stuff that Autumn does. Autumn's my wife. There'll be stuff that Autumn does where I'm just seething inside. And I'm like, you know what? This is not worth getting upset about. It's not worth getting in a fight about. You know, she's your wife, man. You know, I'm sure you do lots of stuff that they like, drive her up a wall. So why don't we just not get mad and not blow up? And then, like, maybe 20 minutes later, I'll be fine. No problem. I guess it's different with my wife. When my wife makes me mad, I love her, so I get over it. And a lot of times, it's nothing worth getting upset about. But sometimes, when it doesn't have anything to do with my wife, and it's something like, you know, forest building issues, or someone giving me one, buying one item in this game, 
I just get so angry. But then I look at Chris Peters' super chat. I'm like, you know what, Cage? It's not so bad. Not so bad, bro. Okay. Hello, young lady. How are you doing? 25, 25. Have a good day. Take a hot steaming pile on their one item and take their money. Well, that's not very nice. What's up, Tara? How's it going? Whoops. Exact change. I love it. Have it going. You can now play this on your phone? Really? Why no Sons of the Forest? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming you meant uh, the video I put up earlier today. Uh, you know, here's the thing, man. They were, like, Enshrouded did really well on my channel. And I really enjoyed that game. Really enjoyed Enshrouded. And people enjoyed watching me play it. So there was a major update. So I'm like, okay, um, I've been putting up like daily Sons of the Forest videos, except for like the past couple days, on the reg. And I'm like, this will give people a chance to catch up, the people that are behind. And I'll do Enshrouded and give the Enshrouded people something they want to say. The Enshrouded, the Enshrouded video did. I can't believe how poorly the Enshrouded video did. I. The update was pretty cool. I mean, it had some issues, but it was pretty cool. I did enjoy the update. But man, nobody watched it. So kind of wish I did Sons of the Forest. But, you know, we'll see. Maybe it'll catch on later. It's only been up for a couple hours. So, I'm new to your channel. I found you a few days ago, and I loved watching the series so far. And for no reason, I have skipped half the series to watch this live stream. Well, Valkyrie, I have a nice orderly playlist. You can just watch the stream and get a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a peek ahead into what the series has to offer. And then go back and, you know, go back to the playlist. And uh, thank you for the kind words. Hello from... Use... Use... Use a big... Kistan? I know Kistan. I don't know the rest of that country. Sorry. But welcome. Is it possible to put boxes on the fridge? Yes, it is. I would love to see Helldivers 2. A little flip on the script style of the game. Give it a try. I, if I did Helldivers 2, I can almost guarantee I wouldn't record it because it's not really the kind of thing that would do well on my channel. Hello from Canada. Hello, Canada. Uzbekistan? Uzbekistan? What's up, man? Oh, look at this guy. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah, bro. 183? 675? There you go. Have a nice day. Amped revamp. Thank you for the re-up with the cage crew. Fabled Survivor tier. Hell yeah. So glad to be a member of your excellent channel. Love your videos. Thank you very much. I love those shorts you made on, uh, that you put on Discord. They were very funny. Very, very much in line with my, uh, videos. Uh, I don't know what you call it. My video motif. It was like, I want to get a license. I don't want to get a license. Maybe I'll get a license. It was like one of those things. Hello from Spain. Nice. Hello from South Africa. Sweet. Got people from all over the place. I really wish you didn't start doing live streams of this game. I was enjoying the series. Well, why don't you enjoy it now? Not enough time to watch all the, all the content. Is that the problem? Because, like, some people were like, I, I, I don't want to watch a three-hour stream. And I was like, why not? You could just watch it in chunks. Watch a, watch a half hour, watch a half hour here, watch a half hour there. That's what I do. I watch um, long streams, and I just kind of, I come back, and YouTube remembers where I am. Do you know where Boshina is? No. Who's Boshina? I know. It's probably, like, a country or something. <laughs> Hello from Redacted. Hello from New Zealand. India. Are you guys waiting for the 7 Day Stay Update before doing vids again? Yes. I just don't have three hours to watch a video. I have five kids. That's perfectly understandable. Um, but like I said, just watch it in pieces. Um, it is 6-12. Okay. Let's go ahead and see how we did today. 4700 See, I, this is why I'm not buying more license licenses, because you don't really seem to make that much more. Uh, beer, Blondale, and Olive Oil. All right, B, 
beer blonde ale. Beer blonde ale. Let's go with 650. Beer blonde ale. Is that this one? I think so. I'm going to leave it where it is. Let's go, let's go make sure we got the right one. What's up, Miser? Oh, it was... Okay, I was going to say... It was the actual individual bottle. Mm, 250. I like licenses. He's got a ton of rooms, any, a ton of room anyway. Yeah, it's not the ton of room. It's that I have to order so many different kinds of things. Like, and besides, actually, I take it back. I don't have a ton of room. Where am I going to put it in the back? Ton of room out front, not so much in the back. All right, we're going to need scallop. And beef, scallop, beef. You know what? I'll just do uh, six beefs. And then, and then, uh, we're not at anything here. Um, we could use the blue rice, blue rice and candy. Six of that. Cage, I thought you was not moving the books. Cage, I thought you was... Oh, yeah. I did move the books. I moved them over here. Just to kind of give myself some more room uh, to put down this cash register without it being so, like, enclosed. I was going to keep them there. I like looking at them, but it's not really that big of a deal, to be honest. How far have you from the second book upgrade? That would give you all the books. That's a good upgrade. I think that's store level 81, right? Is that store level 81? Yes. Well, no, 90. No, 81. All right. Okay. You know what? I, we better make it there today. Uh, are we going to save up $34,600 dollars to get these books? Eh, I don't know. Maybe. Well, that, uh, you're right, though. That's the next thing I should go for. Good call. I want that mod that allows you to put storage racks in the street. Oh, <laughs> no, I wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> but he does need to, like, open up the storage, like, allow us to expand the storage more. Uh, we would know. We would have an idea of what, what the developer's doing and when the update would be coming out if others didn't ruin it for us. Now we're not getting any info because the dev doesn't want to talk about the update because a bunch of people's giving him crap because, he like, he said he might get the update out on the weekend. He didn't even say definitely. He said I'm going to. Try. He said something to the effect that I'm, go I'm going to try for this weekend. Fingers crossed. And then it didn't come out on the weekend, and people lost their freaking minds. And it's just like, come on, man. And now, now he doesn't want to talk about updates because people like gave him so much crap. I'm curious if the theft will include people stealing boxes. From the street or just the store shelves? I don't know. That's a good question. Better not be from the street. <laughs> what the hell are we supposed to do, you know? What's up, T-Rob? I think he made the adjustments on uh, adjustments on Wednesday. That's not too much far away from the weekend. I think you did okay. I think you did okay. I'm curious. Uh, yeah, he came by with it on Wednesday. Like he said, he's going to try for the weekend. He couldn't hit it because, like, you know, stuff comes up. And then he brought it out on Wednesday. And it's just like, and I feel bad for the guy. You know, he's, he's like, you don't want to talk about it now because people are yelling at him. Your shrouded video turned in low views as... At that time, several streamers did streams of that game. Um, and it was a bit too much in one time. I'm watching at least five. Yeah, so it's, it's saturated. Okay. Um, no, I, I guess I can't do any videos on it then because I need people to watch the videos. So 
I will have to look into doing other things. I mean, it was pretty saturated when I was doing it earlier, like a few, like a month or two ago, and people are still watching the videos. It was just as saturated then. I would say there's probably more people doing it then than is doing it now. All right, we need detergent. Uh, four, four, and two. Okay, I think we're looking pretty good. We could probably open pretty soon. Um, we need eight eggs. All right. Get a couple. What's up, Slumdog? Download the game the other day. Ended up playing until 2 a.m. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. The same people would complain if there were bugs. is a little rushed update. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I, I wish the developer would, like, learn to ignore those people as a developer. I feel like you're going to have to learn to ignore those people. But at the same time, like, it's not easy. It's like when I'm reading my comment section and people are saying mean stuff to me about my video in the comment section... Like, yeah, I got to learn to ignore those people. Or, like, if, if they're giving me good criticism, I can incorporate that into a better video. But sometimes they're just being dicks. You know, they're not offering anything. They're just they're just talking trash. And, like, you just got to ignore those people, but it's not easy. What's up, Royal? How's it going? Have you ever played or thought about playing Planet Crafter? Oh, go, go check out my channel, bro. I've got lots of Planet Crafter videos on there. I actually recorded, you know, you want to hear something funny? I recorded an episode of Planet Crafter about a month ago, and I still got that video, like, locked in the chamber, like, ready to be released. The only reason I haven't released it is because all the other games I'm playing are so hot right now, it, it, it doesn't make sense for me to release a Planet Crafter, which wouldn't do that well. It really wouldn't. It would do okay, but not that well on my channel. Um, but I did the video, and, like, I've, I've had it, and I'm just like, I can't, I can't, like, put it up because everything else is doing so well. So, yeah. Uh, bleach. Have you ever tried undercutting the market price by 1%? Um, I think I've undercut it before, but I feel like, I feel like going over is, is the better way to make money personally. But I don't know. I don't think anybody really knows. We don't, we don't get enough information, you know? All right. I need to... We got the bleach. We got that. Um, I don't know what else I want to order. Um, okay. Okay. Three regular toilet paper. And then let's go with... Ice cream. Three ice cream. And we're going to get these right here. Three. And let's do one of these. All right, this will be the last one. When I put this away, we'll, we'll open up and wait on some customers. I am doing fine. I had a rough recording today with the forest, uh, Sons of the Forest. It was, um, it was a rough one, man. Uh, the building issues and stuff, but... At the end of the day, I think the video came out pretty cool. I did a lot of um, I did a lot of farming, and I went out and got seeds and planted a bunch of stuff, and um, you know, built a bedroom and, but it was not an easy one. Definitely not an easy one. Yeah, there's a lot of good mods out there. I just, I don't want to, like, I don't want to deal with Nexus mod. Like, oh, I got to make a freaking profile and figure out another password for another website. It's just, ugh, I really don't want to deal with it. Um, I hope that they come to the Steam Marketplace, or not Marketplace, but the Steam Workshop soon, so I could just not have any, like, problems. All right, let's go ahead and open up. I'm going to go ahead and grab a drink really quick, and I'll be right back.
What's up, Nex? How's it going, bud? Okay, so now we're just waiting. Now we play the waiting game. Where are we going to put our new books? How many books are there? Oh, darn it. Hello, lady. All right, exact change. Love it. Have a nice day. All right, let me see. Here. Um, license. One, two, three, six. Okay. Six. So that's 12 books total, right? Yeah. So that's six full thingies. Wow, that's going to be tough. I don't think I can have six full thingies. I guess the books don't have to go all in the same shelf. I could put them like this. So, maybe if I could find room for this stuff, move this stuff off of here, I could put all the books on the back shelf here. Maybe. I don't know where I would put all that stuff, though. Well, some of it would go over here. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That'd be eight. I need. 12, but I could always double up books, so it wouldn't be a problem. And then just move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, well, 5, because that's got to stay there. So it's 5 over here. That's only 4. And then the fifth one can go right here. Okay. So that's got to stay there. It would be books, 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 books. And then 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 would go, 4 would go on there, and the fifth one would go right there. It should be very doable. What's up, my man? How's it going? 9.75. Sounds good. Whoops. That's too much. Here you go. Have a nice day. Hello. Alright. $23. Have a good day. Hope you have a great stream. Well, thank you very much, man. I hope you enjoy the stream. What's up, Tower? $91. Exact change. Have a good one. Did anyone else notice that Cage, Cage's in-game girlfriend has a tramp stamp? Yeah, that's one thing I don't like about her. Never, I never like, I never like the tramp stamps. I mean, whatever. If the person's like, if I thought about a tramp stamp, it wouldn't like. <laughs> it's not like a deal breaker, but I don't know. Uh oh boy. Uh, seventy, ninety, five, six, seven, fifty. Have a nice day. There you go. And 29. There you go. Have a nice day. Oh, boy. That's what I'm talking about. $5. Have a good day. Your shop is so cool. Thank you very much. Thank you, too, Karen. Uh, can you hire a fourth cashier? I could. I just don't know where I would put them. Because I like to do cashiering. So if I got another... Really? Have a go, man. Because if I put a cashier here, then where am I going to cashier from? I might be able to fit another one. Nah, I wouldn't be able to. Mm. What's up, Psycho Sid? Hey, you got a, you got an animal, Psycho Sid? Oh, he's probably got an attack dog. Right? Like, freaking Doverman. Or, not a Doverman, but like a, a pit bull or something. Oh, man. Could you imagine Psycho Sid and his dog out freaking mauling people? Oh. Oh, my goodness. That's, that's the stuff of nightmares. 42.50. Have a going. Hello. How's it going? How are you doing today? All right. 95.75. Have a good day. Andy Fried Kratos. Thank you very much for the super chat. Um, any plans on playing Night of the Dead? I tried Night of the Dead like a couple months ago. It just didn't. It didn't get any traction. I'm not sure why. I think that's a cool game, but uh, fifty cents. Have it going. Okay, I thought the light might have been on. Oh, there's cat food. Oh, okay. He's well. He's training a killer cat. Yeah, tiger. Yes. Does the light? Does the light bill go higher if you leave it on all day? I've heard it does, but I, I don't know for sure. 
any new game come out this year you have your interest in? Uh, yeah, but I wouldn't tell you because um, I like to keep that stuff as a surprise. You know, because like um, when I like go to play a game, um, I like to be ahead of the viewer as much as possible. So you guys can see stuff you haven't seen yet. And if I tell you I'm going to be playing this game, you might go play it ahead of me and then you're not going to maybe want to watch as much. Next, thank you for the super chat. I think Cage Mart should be the name of your supermarket. Okay. Well, you don't want to do Kmart because that, that's probably still copy, probably got copyright issues even though they went out of business. See, so yeah, I think Cage Mart. Shop smart. Shop Cage Mart. You got that? Can you, can you please ex explain based on what, how many shelves you give for each product? It depends. Um, some things go faster than others. Like, honestly, the cereal, I could probably just do, let's call it basically a shelf for me personally is this spot right here. That's what I consider a shelf, and that's it. So, theoretically speaking, you know, the, the cereal only needs two shelves. I give them four, but they don't really need it. But, but, the coffee, that one needs four shelves. Because you could fit 12 boxes of cereal on a shelf and only eight boxes of coffee. Plus, coffee seems to sell a little bit quicker, and I don't want to run out of it. Um, you can see right here, the cakes obviously only need two shelves each. Um, bread. I guess we could fit 12 things of bread on there, but bread seems to go, I don't know, maybe kind of quick. Yeah, honestly, you just got to play the game and just kind of see what goes the quickest for you and what you think needs extra shelves and what don't. Um, these, basically, if you can only fit eight of an item on a shelf or less, you probably want four shelves. I guess that's a good way to go. Like, the condiments probably don't need four shelves. I've got enough room on the floor for plenty more items. It's the back that's the problem. Like, I could get multiple licenses. I could probably get every license in the game with this size store and make it work. It might not be ideal, but I could probably make it work. But if you go in the back, the back can't be expanded anymore. And it's already, like, bursting at the seams. Miser, thank you for the super chat. Fucking snot. Oh my god. What the hell's the matter with you, you nut? Miser, you're watching Army of Darkness with Cage? Has you, have you ever seen Army of Darkness, Miser? There's still a Kmart open in New Jersey? Oh, okay, well there you go. I thought they went out of business. I could, I could move my shelves closer together. No doubt about it. I'm not going to, though, because it gets really claustrophobic. The, the, it won't affect the game in any way. The people will be able to get through easily, even if I m move these together, but I don't like it. I don't like it, so I don't have to, so I'm not going to. If I had to, I might, but I don't. I have 19 more episodes to watch of this uh, gameplay to catch up to today's live stream. Oh my goodness. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Are you one of those dads with like five kids where you have barely any time to watch videos? Or do you have like time to catch up? I should name it the Circle K. But that's more of like a... Honestly, even Kmart isn't a great name. Just, you gotta do something with ShopRite or like some kind of shopping thing. KJ, I'm loving your Sons of the Forest video. You breezed, the, you breezed the Golden Armor Cave recently. Yeah, a lot of people were saying that. They were saying like it was surprising how easily I got through the the cave. See, the thing is, I was I was following like like I was looking it up. I wasn't gonna just run randomly through those caves. If I was playing by myself and people weren't watching, yeah, I'd probably just run through the caves, you know, and just kind of figure it out. Take hours to do it. But like when I'm recording, I kind of want to leave it. I want it, I want it to be focused, so you guys. Don't have to watch me running down dead ends all the time because that's not interesting to watch. So, okay, so um, let me know, guys, in chat, how many negatives do you think we got today? I'm going to say six. New subscriber, love the series. I'm so glad you're con consistent. Enjoy the content. I'm going to watch uh, more of your videos. Thank you very much. That's awesome.
right, here we go. Ooh, nine, okay. All right, 5400 dollars that's good. Um, Electro Book and Lasagna. Electro Book and Lasagna. Uh, let's go 775 and Lasagna. You know what? I'm going to leave that where it is. Are we okay back here? Uh, we need flour, potatoes, pasta. I think the red pasta only need three. You think they'll release Sons of the Forest on PS5? Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised they I'm surprised it's not, right? Because didn't they they put the original Forest on console? Seventy dollars for lasagna is highway robbery. For frozen lasagna, yes, but we have this lasagna at the store I go to. That's not frozen, it's like refrigerated. And you're not supposed to freeze it and you you know cook it in the oven, and it comes out really good. And that's like fifteen dollars. Um it is kind of expensive, but it's you know. And it's usually for me and Autumn, so it's two people. Oh, crap, I ordered too much. Will there be an update to allow more than 10 quantity a day? Um, I originally thought that only being able to order 10 items a day was lag reason, but people said that they have mods where they can order as many items as they want. They've never had issues of lag, so um, I, I only order like 20 at a time, like I'll order 10 and then I'll order another 10. And the reason I do that is because I'm afraid that stuff will start disappearing if you order too many items. But I don't know. Maybe that's not a thing. You had 90 boxes and none of them disappeared? Because if they don't disappear, I'll just order a bunch, like one after the other. I just, I'm always afraid that stuff's going to disappear. Used to watch your videos every day when I was in school. Since I finished, I couldn't find a lot of time to watch. Now I now when I broke my leg, I'm watching. Well, I'm glad that you're watching my videos again, but sorry you have to break your leg to do it. I guess technically you're right. It's not frozen in game. That's right. It goes in the refrigerator. I just started playing this game. Any tips? I mean, it's not like a challenging game. Just um, have fun. You know, play the way you want. Set up the store the way you want and just have like have a good time. I would say unlock booze and book licenses first. You know, because um, they're pretty far down the tree, though. You might want to unlock other licenses, but um, booze and books seem to do the like pretty good. Toilet paper. You know what? Let's just go four and four. All right. Toilet paper. White rice. I like to keep the rices around the same like level. So we'll order five and then another three. Wait, no, I need more white rice. That's right. Five, oops, and three, and then two white cereal. Uh, salt and pepper. Do four of these and six of the pepper since we already have a salt in there. Hope you guys are right about um, stuff not disappearing. Looking 
looking good. Uh, we need um, black cleaner and shampoo. And then we need beer. And then we need um, a large sushi. Ugh, this guy's freaking stuck here every damn time. Uh, large sushi. And I want to order some, uh, what I think, four. We need another six items just to kind of fill it up. How about coffee? Large sushi, coffee, there we go. Damn it. I am Daniel. Thank you very much for the super chat. Been obsessed with your series. Glad to finally catch you live. Well, thank you. Welcome. Any big updates since the stalker? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I'm waiting, man. I'm waiting. The stalker update was a Wednesday. I'm, I was hoping it would be today, but... I don't want to, like, go on their Discord and be like, Hey, what's going on with the updates? You know, I just feel like a pest. But I might tomorrow. I'm also debating streaming this game for the next, um... Uh, for the next four days straight. Uh, just, I'm gonna have to open my window. Give me a sec. So, um, here's the deal. I'm not going to be able to stream Sunday because it's uh, Easter and I'll be going over family's house. So, what I want to do is I'm thinking about streaming the next four days. Depending on how many people show up for these for these streams is depending on whether I'm going to stream for the next four days. And I'm going to take it day by day. Right now, there's over 400 people here. That is plenty good enough reason to stream tomorrow. I will definitely be streaming this again. Now, this stuff's up in the air. Something could come up and I might have to cancel stream. I don't know. Uh, my life's pretty chaotic right now. Um, but as of right now, I have every intention of streaming tomorrow. As long as people keep showing up to the streams and the videos keep doing well, I will keep streaming through the week. Uh, it doesn't cost you guys anything. Just come here, like the video, and, um, you know, I will definitely keep streaming for the rest of the week. Now... We normally do Cage Crew stuff on uh, on Sunday. We're not going to be able to do it Sunday because um, I, I'm not going to be there. So it depends, like, if the Cage Crew wants to do Saturday, Sons of the Forest, let me know in Discord. If you don't mind either way, I will do this. I will do this. Um, this video series does better than Sons of the Forest, but the Cage Crew, you know, um, they, need, they need their day. So if you guys are okay with giving up the day, um, that would be cool. And if not, that's cool too. I'd be happy to stream Sons of the Forest. So let me know uh, whether you care or not. And, um, you know, we'll decide about that on Saturday. Uh, Andy Fry, thank you for the super chat. I think one thing, one thing I think is awesome. Sorry, my dyslexia. Uh, when you start a game, everyone else starts playing. Yeah, it took a little bit of time to get people to play this one too. Like the first like few episodes, like nobody cared. And I was like, you know what? This game's cool, man. Let's, um... Let's, let's keep doing it for a little bit. And then people started watching it. And then once they watched it, I mean, like, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but if I like a game and you like my channel, you're probably going to like the game too. I am 47. Did I miss Ian... No, I think I got the super chat. Did I miss the super chat? I said Ian Daniels, right? Pretty sure I did. Maybe because I didn't do Andy Fries right away. I'm a young fella. I don't get called that often. Thank you. You'll be 42 on Monday. Well, happy early birthday. 
I like watching you and your lovely wife play this KJ48, but I do not really like the game that much. That's interesting. That you like watching, but you don't like the game. Crap. Over here. The shop is closed because I want to, like, run the register. As soon as I'm done putting this stuff away, I think we're going to open up. I might go back to Planet Crafter when it's in full release. Planet Crafter's getting um, co-op. You believe that? Might have to do some of that on the cage crew. Cage, what's the difference between stock falling out of the sky when you order it and it appears... Cage, what's the difference between stock falling out of the sky when you order it and it appearing on the shelf? I am not... I would love to answer your question. I'm just not sure what you're asking. I have no idea when the, up, when the next update is, is going to be because people yell at the developer uh, on the last update when it wasn't out on... Like when he said it was going to... when Actually, it's not even when he said it was going to be out because it didn't come out when like he said he was going to try and get it out by. Um, he doesn't talk about the updates anymore. So... A select few have ruined it for all of us. <laughs> you gotta you gotta go poop in the game now? There's a mod that puts it straight in the stock room. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I was really tempted to get the mods this week, but I don't want to deal with Nexus mod. I don't like Nexus mod. And at the same time, like, I kind of feel like we should continue suffering and letting the developer know we're suffering and have him make the changes that need to be changed. Um, I don't know. It's just kind of a complicated subject for me personally. Oh, it makes it too easy? Oh, okay. This freaking guy. How's life in your 40s cage? Painful. <laughs> Alright, let's open up. Potatoes. And... And... Oh, butter. And I have to go to the bathroom, too. Give me two seconds, guys. I'll be right back. Whoops. All right, register one's closed for a minute. I'll be right back. I wonder if I could be asleep tonight by, let me think, I wonder if I could be asleep by 3 o'clock in the morning, because I got to start getting my workouts in, you know, I got to start working out, and it's really tough, because since I'm going to be streaming for the next four days, 
but I really need to get some workouts in. And I was thinking when I'm done here streaming, I could record an episode and then I could work out, watch some TV, brush my teeth, take a shower, brush my teeth, go to bed. Right. But then I was thinking working out at night like that is, it doesn't sound good. So I was thinking working out in the morning would be the way to go. Get up, brush my teeth, talk to Autumn for a little bit, work out, then come down and record. But if I'm going to do that, I have to be up by 11 a.m. In order to be up by 11 a.m., I have to be asleep by 3 a.m. I know what you're thinking. Cage, what? Have a nice day. Um, I know what you're thinking. Cage, you can't be asleep by 3 a.m.? What the hell? Yeah, I know. I know. I usually, I don't know. I, my sleep schedule has been completely screwed ever since I, you know, left my job to do YouTube. Um, yeah, I need to... That means I need to be rolling over going to sleep at 2.30. If I roll over to go to sleep at 2.30, I'll be asleep by 3. It should be doable. It's just... A lot of times I just stay up at night to watch YouTube and there's not even anything on. There's like nothing on. I'm like looking for stuff to watch and there's nothing to watch. And I'm staying up for hours looking for stuff to watch and not even watching anything. So, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to bed early tonight. <laughs> by early, I mean 3 a.m. And then I'll sleep 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's 8 hours. Get up, exercise, work out, you know, uh, take care of everything I need to take care of, get down, record. I'd have to be recording by 1. So if I get up by 11, let's say I am working out at 11.30 and I work out. Usually I only I only go on the cross trainer for like 20 minutes, but like I take rests. So it usually takes about 30 minutes and another 10 minutes to get ready. So you look at about 45 minutes to work out. Um, so 11.30... 12.30, yeah, that's going to really be close. If I get up at 11.30 and I'm working out by 11, I'm sorry, if I get up at 11, if I get up at 11 and I'm working out at 11.30, I should be down here recording by 1, and that should be very doable. I need to edit my editing schedule. <laughs> yeah, that should be very doable. So this will be my day tomorrow. Get up, get up at, um, get up at 11. Oops, sorry. 325. Have it going. Get up at 11. Exercising by 1130. Downstairs, 1130, 1231. That's an hour and a half to finish exercising. Shower. Get downstairs and take care of everything. That should be very, very doable. I'm downstairs by one. I will be able to get my recording done. No problem. Um, have a quick dinner. Stream. Record another video. Edit. In bed by two. No, I don't think. See, the thing is, I don't think I can go to bed. At, I don't think I can go to bed at um at two and be and roll over at two thirty. I need a good hour and a half at least to just kind of watch something, you know. So I'd really have to be in bed by one. Yeah, in bed by one, rolling over to go to sleep at two thirty. Sleep by three. Um, Wit Pro, thank you very much for the super chat. I hear a great exercise is called bathroom uh, bedroom yoga. Oh my goodness, that's that's filthy. <laughs> the last king uh thank you very much for the super chat been loving your videos i for sure will continue watching even if you play another game well thank you very much man that's very kind of you have a nice day all right ice cream tea and cheese hell of a combination how's it going are you married cage yes i am I am married. Tim Fry Game Designer. I'm not sure where his name ends and the chat begins. Tim Fry Game Designer. Oh, did we expand uh, or buy a license? I just joined. Uh, neither. I'm wondering which one I should do. I think I'm... Ugh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think... Oh, no, no, no. We did decide. I'm going to go for store level 81. And then I'm going to buy the next book license. Right here. So I want to save up 34600 and get the store level 81. That's right. Uh, my wife has had a rough night. She had a really rough day at work. She's sleeping. I feel bad. Because, like, I, like, I go upstairs, like, and I've been an hour to eat. And then come, like, I recorded. And because of Sons of the Forest and the building being broken, um, I could, you know, it took me longer to record today than it should have. 
So I barely had any time up there, and she's having a bad day, and I really wanted to just hang out with her, but, like, I had no time. So... Cage's wife is awesome. That's a good point. Just look up uh, a video on how to, on how Earth needs, just look up a video about how Earth needs to go from a type zero to a type one civilization. They've seen, yeah, actually I, I, I'm partial to watching a um, History Channel's universe series. I've, I've watched that before to get to sleep. I also watch uh, Vsauce. Um, lately I've been watching a show called the Y Files, which is really good. What's up, Psycho Sid? Oh man, he's gonna eat some sushi, then he's gonna go poop. I love it. The circle of life. There you go, have a nice day. Oh, I'm so thirsty. See, the thing is, the thing is, if I can start exercising, get it on my diet, then everything else will fall into place. Everything that's bad in my life, and I don't have a lot that's bad with my bad at my life, and the stuff that is bad in my life is my own fault. Um, but everything that's bad in my life is because I eat too much and I don't get enough exercise. Every single thing. Everyone listen to the Y files. Yeah, the Y files are dope. I love his um little trash talking fish. What is it called? Um, hecklefish. That guy's hilarious. I mean, that fish is really freaking funny. Like, <laughs> like, legit. Like, better than most comedians out there. Um, I, I, I do two things for exercise. I go on walks, um, or I do the cross trainer. And when I, when I really start getting on my diet and I could do some more stuff, I'll, I'll do different kinds of exercises. But for now... A type one civilization? I don't, I don't, I don't know if, I don't know if life could go on long enough to get to a type one civilization. I think between, you know, life, like, I'm just taking human beings, obviously, but I'm, um, like, destroying ourselves with nuclear weapons or asteroids hitting the planet, disease, all kinds of things. I'm not positive, uh, a civilization get to a type one civilization. Isn't that the one where you got to build something around a freaking star and harvest the, the harvest the, um, the energy from the star. Like that's some, I don't know, man, you could write that down and you can do the math, but doing that in like reality, I don't even know if that's possible. We can't even leave the planet because of radiation in, in the solar system. You know, they went to the moon and they, when they went to the moon and they had their eyes closed, the, the, the particles were going through the, the astronauts' eyes, and they would see flashes. Like uh, going to going to Mars would be a real problem. Like having people in space for for multiple years or on the planet. Right. Like I guess they might be able to go underground. And the radiation's a real problem. Solar solar radiation, uh, background radiation, whatever kind of radiation you got going on in space is not good for human beings. And I I'm not convinced right. we have any way to survive it. Um, next way, Sander, thank you for the gu five gift subs. All right. Matt Damon did it. It's so, so not impossible. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so what's a type one civilization, Pig Hammer? You know, there's like little, like, little microscopic pieces of matter flying through space that if that goes through your ship, you're all dead. <laughs> you're all dead. <laughs> I mean, it's, I don't know. I don't think it's possible, but who knows? You know, like a couple hundred years ago, they didn't think going into space was possible. So, 
All right, guys, let me know how many negatives you think we got. I forgot to mention the, the person who won the last one. I'm sorry. Um, I'll remember this one. Oh, so you're telling me a civilization is going to figure out a way to, to stop earthquakes, Big Hammer? Yeah, I'd have to see that to believe it. All right, I'm going to go with six. There we go. I won one. Who else got six? Uh, six, six, no one did, six. oh, next Wastelander, nice, good job, bud, all right, cake, ham, flour, cake, ham, flour, ham, flour, ham, flour, ham, flour, ham, flour, ham, flour, Blue box. Blue box. Oh, those are over here, aren't they? 925. And flower. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying to change the price back here. Oh my goodness, hold on one sec. Orange flower. MIT is working on a technology that will create a, man a magnetic shield around deep spacecraft that will mostly fix it if they can get it to work. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing, like, a lot of these, like, people, like, are, um, well, you know, theoretically, you could do this, and the math tells us you can do that, but, I mean, to be able to do it is a whole different thing. Also, how are you gonna you, you got you gotta solve uh gravity. You gotta have some kind of um uh artificial gravity. You can't humans cannot go through space without gravity. They will just I mean forget it. Um all right, let's go ahead and open. And I know, I know, well 2001 space, you can have that thing spinning around. Yeah, do it. I wanna see it happen before. I mean, like you're like, yeah, you just make something in space and you have something sw also like you're gonna have to like travel as, almost as fast as the speed of light. And honestly, even, let's say hypothetically speaking, you wanted to go to another galaxy. All right, let's say you wanted to go to another galaxy. And you're going, like, you get a ship that could take you, like, a certain amount of percentage of the speed of light. You know, it's only going to be a few years for you, but it's going to be thousands, hundreds of thousands of years for Earth. If Even if we could figure out a way to go to other galaxies, every, everyone you know, all of humanity is gone at that point. Like... I don't know, man. Like, I I mean, I don't like to be a Debbie Downer or anything, but, um, yeah. Ninety nine percent of speed of light will get you to Alpha Centauri quickly. You mean four years quickly? That's not quickly. <laughs> and ha you just say that like it's no big deal. Yeah, ninety nine percent of speed of light. We get also you can't just go ninety nine percent of speed of light. You have to, like, I'm telling you, all right, listen, there's a Vsauce 3 video about this. You need to watch it. Vsauce 3, will we ever go to another galaxy? Or You got to watch it. Because, like, even even accelerating 1% to the speed of light would, like, kill people. You got to go super, super slowly. Now, you're not talking about four years. You're talking about many, many years. And then half the way, half the way to, the, to the next galaxy, you have to turn the ship around and decrease at a very, very small increment. Or you're going to be, like, paced. You're going to get pasted. So, no, I don't think it is possible. Like, at all. Uh, my next license is going to be a book license. I have to get the store level 81 first. So, right here. This is the one I'm going for. Store level 81, $34,000. 600 Oh, so you're going to have generational? Oh, good luck with that. So you're gonna have you're gonna have generations of people living on a ship going through space over over God knows how many years, hoping that you don't run into space debris or anything doesn't go wrong or Okay. <laughs> okay. I I remain unconvinced. One hundred and then and then what? And then I mean I guess I guess I guess what you're saying is like humanity would have to go nomad. We would never have another home. 
because we'd have to like travel around because like I said, by the time you get to Alpha Centauri, everyone on earth is gone. Like the earth is probably gone at that point, you know, cause the, the sun's getting bigger. The sun's getting bigger every, you know, the sun's getting brighter as time goes on and it's not going to take long before this earth is un uninhabitable. And it has nothing to do with carbon emissions either. It has to do with the sun getting bigger. It's getting brighter and brighter and brighter. And it doesn't take much, you know? So even if you go to another system, Earth's gone. You're just going to have to keep moving from system to system, hoping that this ship, this generational ship, tens, dozens of years, is going to hold up. Mm. The sun won't burn out for a few hundred trillion years. Oh, my goodness. Pig Hammer, are you are you pulling my leg? I know you I know you're I know you're smarter than that. There was a supercomputer that said humanity has 50-50 shot at even getting to 2100 without destroying itself. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the problem is nuclear weapons. I, you know, it's just it's a problem. It really is. Okay, the sun, the sun will be, I, I forget the, the numbers, but the ten, the sun will be 10% brighter in a certain amount of years. I mean, it, the sun will not turn into a supergiant for another, uh, another um, few bill. I think it's billion, right? Isn't the sun like 4 billion years old or something? Yeah, I think it's like 4 billion years old. The sun will turn into a supergiant in another 4 billion, it's halfway through its life cycle. It'll be a supergiant in another 4 billion years. But even before that, it will start getting brighter and brighter and it does not take a lot for the sun to get brighter, for the for the for our oceans to evaporate, like I'm telling you, it's not going to be that long. It's definitely not going to be trillions and trillions of years, unless you're talking about it being a white dwarf. But who cares? We can't we can't live with a white dwarf. Like that would that wouldn't work for us. Two to three billion years before it's a soup before it's a red giant. I I think it's going to be brighter. It's like I'm talking to. Millions of years. I think it's going to get brighter to the point where we can't sustain life on this planet. I, are we still destroying the ozone? I thought I thought we took care of that. I don't know. Maybe we are. I don't know. Have a nice day. What's Cage have against dwarves, man? Wait, what? <laughs> when are you going to beat Sons of the Forest? I think you are ready for it. Um, I don't know. I guess I, I have to go I have to go get the um the gold armor thingy and then make gold armor, right? And then I could do it. Yeah, the sun will be a red giant in, like, I think four billion years. But uh, I'm telling you, it's we'll be dead before then. Way before then. Because it's it's going to get brighter and brighter. Watch Vsauce, I'm telling you. Line one's open, people. You better buy your groceries before the sun turns into a super giant and kills us all. Let's go. Uh, I don't think store expansions bring any more money in. I think the um, I, I think the licenses do, but not enough in my opinion. I think the licenses need to bring in more. I spend like thirty thousand dollars, twenty two thousand dollars on a license or whatever, and it, it like barely up to how much money I made. I think we'll make it to other galaxies by then if we don't destroy ourselves. The, the, the speed of light is a is a big barrier, man. Like, they have, like, starships, plans of starships that they think they might be able to make. But they're as big as, like, cities. Could you imagine trying to build a spaceship in space that's as big as New York City? Like, I don't know, man. 
And like I said, even if you could, you, you got to accelerate so slowly, it's going to take you a really long time to get anywhere. And generational star travel, I guess that might be. I mean, you have to have food, water, oxygen for generations. And generations like 20 years, right? So like you're talking 40, 60, maybe 100 years of travel. You're never going to run into any kind of space debris that's going to mess up your ship. Nothing's ever going to break down. You're never going to run out of anything. Eh. Eh, I don't know. Uh, I could get the fourth cashier, but the problem is I don't have anywhere to like put my own like cash register. Like I don't have a I don't have room for two more cash registers, and I want to ring people up, so that's why I don't have a fourth cashier. I like Sons of the Forest. Did dead people become chicken soup? Oh, Miser's like I hear you, brother. We are getting there, people. We are getting there. I need store level 81. Now that I know I need store level 81, I'm watching it, and it's going up so slowly. Yeah, passengers was passengers is interesting. Okay, guys, how many negatives? How many negatives we got today? I'm gonna say twelve. <sighs> Negative eleven? What the hell? <laughs> it's not even possible. All right, here we go. Ten. Who said ten? Uh, Icy Angle. Nice job, man. You called it. Vodka, ham, whiskey, ground beef. All right, ham, whiskey, gr ground beef. Ham, whiskey, ground beef. Ham, whiskey, ground beef. Ham, whiskey, ground beef. Ham, um, ham pastry, uh, let's go at 12.50, whiskey and ground beef, Four. it's nice to see stuff going up for a change, things have just been going down recently. Yeah, leave that the way it is. Did someone say this game sucks? Tim, what do you mean this game sucks? This game's awesome. All right, we need some cat food. We need... Okay, uh, let's just get... Cakes. Um, let's get mayo and ketchup. I can't please everyone. Oh, I didn't make the game. So, <laughs> uh, six chicken. Uh, 
Ah, oh, this freaking guy. Um, green and red pizza. Um, beer, whiskey, beer, beer, whiskey. God, let's bring everything in. How close is the update? I have no idea. Poor guy won't talk about the update because he got yelled at last time. Maybe I shouldn't put anything in that corner. But the thing is, like, I have so, so limited space. Like, I can't just say, oh, I just won't put anything in the corner because, like, I need room for stuff. Today's Wednesday, he should just put out the update today. Just have to check Discord. <laughs> See if the update was going off while I was uh, playing. Can you imagine all these X's and zeros that a lot of developers to go through with a lot of work? Damn you, Cage. Thought stream died. Oh. <laughs> nah. Okay, I gotta remember to be in bed by 1 o'clock today. So when I'm done here, I gotta bang out a video, edit, upload, Set up the first video. Oh man, it's gonna be tough. So many boxes, boxes everywhere. Gotta get that cat food can. The kitty's going hungry. Is there any item you wish you could sell in the store? Um. I don't know. How about... How about electric dirt bikes? So when the shop right I used to live at, they have like these, um, it was a big shop right. And up front they would have these like dirt bikes and I think they were electric. That would be really cool. Imagine you buy one for like 250 you sell for like $400 or something. If this has to be a food item, um, salt and vinegar potato chips. I've watched many streams, but this... I've watched many stream this, but Cage is the best. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. I try. Yeah, yeah. It's a shame. Could be coming out tomorrow. We wouldn't even know about it. Go. We need some poppers. Main Rarudo, thank you very much for the super chat. Hey Cage, how are you doing, my friend? Doing good. How are you doing?
I got a science question for you guys. Does light act like a particle or a wave? I have what I think is the answer, but I'm not 100% I'm right, but... <laughs> Light is a photon. It acts like a photon. Well, I guess that's fair enough. The people who said both are kind of right, but it depends. It, it actually depends on if it's being observed. If it's not being observed, it acts like a wave. And if it is being observed, it acts like a particle. Which is really weird. But... Okay. Anything else? Leech and the green stuff. Uh, this bleach. And the green stuff is called, I think it's Yome or something like that. Yamo, whatever the hell. Okay, um, hand sanitizer, the blue um, cleaner. And we'll do one of these as well. Me and Rudo, thank you for the super chat. I'm doing great. Just played a fantastic game of Uno with the family. I'm still waiting on my job call uh, to call me back with when my first day is. Well, good luck with your job, man. If you like science, you should play Stellaris. Shut up, Pig Hammer. Pig Hammer's like, yeah, that's right. I was like, what is he, what is he talking about? Oh, Stellaris. That's right. Anybody know what, um, uh, Albert Einstein did not like quantum mecha quantum mechanics or like basically all that sciencey stuff they were doing with quantum mechanics. Does anybody remember, or does anybody know what, what the famous line that Einstein said about quantum mechanics? I think it was quantum mechanics. It definitely has to do with like sub, sub particles and all that little tiny stuff. Does anybody, I think it's a, it's a famous saying that he said. Um, Einstein was great, like, when it comes to explaining the universe in large, but, like, quantum mechanics and stuff, he had a real hard time with even accepting it. Pasta. Sushi, I'm about to go poor. Thank you, Anthony. Soda. Einstein, I, I, I don't remember the exact quote. It was like a, it was a bit of a like a few sentences, but the main part of the quote that everyone remembers is Einstein said God doesn't God doesn't play dice or the fact that God plays dice he he can't believe something like that because like you know quantum mechanics is all about like you can't ever know where something is you can only have a percentage that the item that the thing is going to be there when you're observing it and if you're not observing it it's it's it could be in any place and there's like percentages of where it could be but you never know where it could be. 
until you actually observe it. It's like freaking whack stuff, man. <laughs> Yes, I do know about E equals MC square. Basically saying that mass and energy are the same thing. They're just two forms of the same thing. And it also says that there's a lot of energy in mass. Like a ridiculously unimaginable amount of energy in mass. Like the C stands for... It's basically energy is equal to mass. Um, mass times the speed of light squared. I know mass is mass, C is the speed of light, and the little 2 means it's squared, so um, that's why nuclear power is so strong, basically. Open! Alright, do we need anything? Let's get some susu. Get some sugar. For these... Um, oh, I didn't put sugar. Or these. And we get a couple of these to round that out. Yes, I thought it was mass times the speed. Of, I thought it was mass times the speed of light. There would have been an X in there, but I'm not. A, I'm not a math guy, so I don't know. <laughs> Angelina, thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Thank you for what? Well, thank you. Thank you for thanking me. If space is freezing cold, then why is the Earth hot? Because... Um, something to do with, uh, I forget the, I forget the word. But part of the reason the earth is hot is because it just squishes itself down. It's just because of gravity. It's just super duper, uh, lots of pressure in the middle. And that's part of it. Uh, something about radioactive decay as well. Like stuff like that makes the earth hot. I don't know exactly. I know the buzzwords, but I, I don't know exactly how it works. I watch a lot of science stuff and this, some stuff gets stuck in my head, but it's only like partial, like. <laughs> Parsh part of it. So I kind of have an idea, but not really. Take a break, let your assistant manager handle I don't have an assistant manager. It's all me. Okay, we're looking okay. Let's go ahead and work the right. Oh, let me pay some bills. I haven't done that in a while. What happened to all your money? Yeah, like. 12 to 13 cakes 10 minutes ago. No, I think you were misreading that. It was probably like 1,200 to 1,400. I haven't had anywhere near 12 to 13, 13k this whole stream. Hey, what's up, my man? Looking good. Looking dapper. Have a nice day. Hello, young lady. Oh, you got some food for your dog. That's so cute. All right, 95, 75. Have a good day. Isn't Venus like the hottest like planet in the solar system? I think it is. Have a nice day. I love it, man. This guy's dropping buku bucks. Have a good one. Ugh. $18, I'll let it slide. But Psycho Sid doesn't like quantum mechanics. It hurts his brain. Yep. Whenever whenever Psycho Sid hears about quantum mechanics, he starts hurting other people. So let's not talk about it if he's around. Have a nice day. Are you sure I was at 13,000? That doesn't sound right. 65, 25. Have a nice day. Come on. Line one's open, people. Let's go. 
spend the money. Oh, you know what would be cool? Lottery tickets. And I'll tell you right now, if we've got lottery tickets, we better make a killing. Because I'm I I worked at a place that sold lottery tickets. I know people who bought lottery tickets. Lottery tickets is a money maker, for real. Welcome, Aloha, Alo, Aloha. I think. <laughs> Welcome. All right, eighty one. How's it going? I'd love to see co-op in our multiplayer in the game. And there's your assistant manager. There you go. Hey, can be my assistant manager? Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use Pig Hammer for advertising. I'm going to give him a little, like, sign he can spin on the corner. He can go stand out there on the street and spin a little sign around. Like Badger from Breaking Bad. Have a nice day. What will you do when you unlock everything? I don't know. It's going to take a while, though. Hey, who do you think deserves a raise? I think the developer deserves a raise. Just working and lurking. I love it. That's a cool saying. I'm going to use that. Ah. Don't worry, men. I'm not using a straw. Really spinning signs how I spend my time in the game? That's time I'd be on the ground. I'd be stealing the alcohol and going on a binger. A bit, uh, binger. Binger. Why am I having trouble saying that name? Saying that word. Uh, 187.75. Have a good day. Can anyone tell me what the number 187 is? Anybody know where that's from? If you live if you listen to rap music in the 90s, you'll know where that's from. Have a nice day. Meanwhile, Rudo, thank you for the super chat. You should look up the quote from Neil deGrasse Tyson on death. It is truly inspirational. Do you have a way that I can send you that quote? Uh you could send it to me in Discord if you wanna. What's up, Cryptic Tundra? Alright, someone someone needs a drink. Rough day at work? Alright, have a nice day. Uh, yo, Cage, you sound 20-something, not 40. <laughs> okay. Um, penal code, no. Undercover cop killed. I don't think it's undercover cop killed, but I think it's just, uh, 187 is just a murder. I don't think it's specific to anything. Although I could be wrong about that, but that's, that's what I was always told growing up. Who ice cube? <laughs> All right, nine o'clock, another day, another day in the books. Oh man, this st place is starting to look bare back here. Damn. What's up, my man? Here you go. Have a nice day. They seem like they're spending a good amount of money, though. Oh, that's right. 187 was in Demolition Man. That's, yeah, that's probably would have been a better place to learn about it than 90s rap music. Have a nice day. Stallone ate a rat burger. Yeah, but he liked it. So it was the best burger he's ever had. 238.50. Have a nice day. Who's Kim Cottrell? Can anyone explain it? Ha! He doesn't know what the three shells is. <laughs> oh, it's the penal code for murder. Okay. All I know is I think it's when cops like do the thing and they 187 and, you know, 34th Street or whatever, you know.
She was in Big Trouble in Little China? Wait, who was she in Big Trouble in Little China? Was she, um, Gracie Law? Oh, you're right. I think I do remember her in Sex and... Now, I've never seen Sex in the City, because, you know, I'm a man. But uh, that sounded really judgmental. Did that sound judgmental? Listen, if you want to watch Sex in the City, God bless. I don't watch Sex in the City. But I think I remember seeing pictures of her in, like, you know, um, whatever. Like, I guess... Uh, I don't even know where I would see. Because like, I would say, like, advertisements, but I don't watch advertisements. But I must have saw something from Sex and the City, and I remember her in it. Wasn't Kim the woman that birthed Eminem's daughter? <laughs> well, her name was Kim. All right, guys. How many negatives are you getting today? I'm saying nine. Okay, here we go. There you go. What I tell you? And nobody, nobody agreed with me. They're like nine. What are you talking about, Cage? It can't be nine, stupid. Oh, my first six thousand dollars. Nice. Look at that. She was Gracie Law. Okay. Uh, be off bleach. Let's go with five fifty. Too much of this stuff is dropping in price, man. All right. I think I'm going to do a day where I stock instead of running the register. Hold on. i got to scratch my back. It's in a spot where I can't get to, but I do have a little back scratcher thingy. It's not that, like, an itchy back is that big, big of a deal, but the thing is, like, I'll get in my head about it, and I'll keep thinking about it, and then it'll start itching more, and, like, where it probably wouldn't itch that much if I just forgot about it, but I can't not think about it, so I gotta take care of it. Usually I'd ask Autumn to scratch it, but I don't want to get up. All right, open. I should do a test where I check up on my prices, two or three dollars. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. All right, we need blue water. Pay some bills and water for those. We're gonna need potatoes. Just gonna get six of those. Um, bleach, uh, that thing and that thing, bleach, that thing and that thing. Uh, this thing. And what was the other thing? Oh yeah, it was this thing. And we'll get some bleach as well. Toilet paper. I think we make a killing on toilet paper, toilet paper in this place, man. I almost said toilet people. Yeah, we, you know those toilet people. Yeah, we make make a lot of money off them. I apple. Sorry, orange. I said apple, but I did the right one. Nothing, 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 nothing. Um, black cereal. Potato chips. You know what? I think we need a lot of chips. I was supposed to order these a while ago. Cereal. Yeah. I figured this is the case.
My earliest members, memory of movies are the classic Disney Pixar fair of the 90s, but I got to watch stuff like Terminator movies, Lost Boys, and Mad Max. Well, those um Disney Pixar movies, bleh, but man, Terminator, Lost Boys, Mad Max, yeah, boy. That's where it's at. I saw Ghostbusters 2 before I saw the first one. Yeah, Ghostbusters 2 wasn't as good as the first one, but I didn't think it was that bad either. I like the fact that it had the NES advantage in it. Oh, Goonies was awesome. A lot of people don't like Goonies these days because, like, it's got a bunch of screaming kids in it, but... I mean, that, that was a hell of a cast. You've got Thanos, and you've got um, Samwise Gamgee, and a uh, Short Round... I mean, like, that's awesome. I have a couple friends who are a little bit older than me um, that, like, the movies we watched together, like, when we were younger, like, we really like, but... Um, if I try to get them to watch an older movie now that they didn't watch younger, like, they, they bag on, like, Back to the Future. I mean, I'm sorry. Like, I respect everyone's opinion, except that they bag on movies like Back to the Future. If you're going to say Back to the Future is not a good movie, then we just have nothing left to discuss. Because you're just wrong. So... Main Wavrudo, thank you for the super chat. I didn't see it. I'm sorry I missed that one. Um, you sent me a friend request on Discord. Just, um, hold on. Just, just, you could like at me in general chat. Just put the quote in general chat and at me. It's fine. I don't accept friend requests on Discord. Oh, yeah, the, the Outsiders was dope. That movie was freaking great. Freaking Karate Kid. Um, Roadhouse guy. Tom freaking Cruise. Billy the Kid. I mean, unbelievable. Why would anyone talk bad about Back to the Future? I don't know, man. I don't know. And it wasn't like they were like, ah, you know, I I see Back to the Future as a well-made movie, but it's just not for me. They were like just dogging on it. And I was like, man, just shut up. And they're the ones that introduced me to Quentin Tarantino movies, so they should know quality movies. But obviously they don't. Because if you don't like Pulp Fiction, I don't know what the hell's wrong with you, miser. I do like the original Star Wars. I even like the prequels. I had a rough time with the prequels when they first came out, but um, I've I've come to really like them. And after the Star Wars, after the Disney Star Wars debacle, the atrocious movies that Disney came out with, it makes me like the prequels even more. I am forty-seven. I heard the new Roadhouse is pretty good from some people, not so good from others. I'm probably going to check it out. Yeah, Disney has really been letting me down recently. I have, like, some of their stuff. Like, um, I think the Obi-Wan series was fine. It wasn't perfect, but it was, you know, it was okay. Mandalorian was phenomenal. 
Boba Fett was a letdown. Um, I mean, the first one, the the, the whatever the first movie was called, the Empire, uh, I don't remember the name of it, but the first the first main movie in the series was okay. It had issues, but the second two were just hot garbage. The second one was trash, and the third one was like un was like totally forgettable. I don't remember what happened in it. It was so bad. I gotta buy some books. Colors and blue book. Ahsoka is pretty good. Yeah, the problem is they lost me by the time Ahsoka came out. So I'm just they they kind of lost like Boba Fett was t was bad, like. You sound like you're around 25. Yeah, that's probably not a good thing. But <laughs> at least I sound young. Ah, good stuff. Yeah, those Power Ranger characters in Boba Fett were atrocious. And Boba Fett was such a pansy. Like... They're, I mean, they're all trying to like be like, oh, Boba Fett's like supposed to be a badass, it's supposed to be a cutthroat badass, it's supposed to be Tony Soprano, you know? And then all these people are like talking trash to me. He's always backing down and like taking crap from people. Like, what? And since when are the sand people good people? Didn't they like torture and murder like, like, um, what's his face, his mom? Or, or maybe there's like different. Factions of sand people. Maybe those weren't the same sand people. They still kidnap people though. And like they're supposed to be the good guys? I don't know. Um, I have not unlocked the license yet. I need to get store level 81. And at store level 81, I will be unlocking... Sorry. I will be unlocking this one right here. I want to get these six more books. So that's what we'll, that's what we'll be going... We're not going to get to it today, but... Okay, guys. How many negatives? How many negatives we get today? I'm going to say seven. Yeah, Obi Wan. The Obi Wan Kenobi series was was fine, um, and the Baby Yoda obviously Mandalorian was through the roof. Mandalorian is the best thing Disney's ever done, and it's not close. It's not even close. <sighs> Excuse me, <sighs> stretching. All right, here we go. Four. Okay. Yeah, forty six hundred. Like, why? Why is it so low? Fifty eight customers too. All right, Dark Roast Coffee, that is right here. $10. I'm going to run to the laboratory really quick, and I will be right back.
All right, I'm back. Oh, who got the, what was it, four? Four, 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 four. Nobody did four, huh? Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, we need some coffee or... Yep, blue coffee. Blue coffee, cake, and chocolate. How about just blue coffee? Um, hold on. Cake. Chocolate. I think I'm actually making a lot better time now that I'm ordering more than 20 boxes at a time. Because I thought they would have just disappeared, but... Um, blue and red flower. Blue. And red. Oh, wait. I can only get four of those. Three. And... Hot sauce, hot sauce, bleach, hot sauce, a lot of cleaning products. I need three of each of the bleach. Two of these, two of these, one of these, and two of these. There we go. Cage, how you doing? I'm a new subscriber. I'm enjoying watching you keep it up, man. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. I will do my best. Yep, you made a lime the live stream, Robert. Welcome. See you later, vampire. Thanks for stopping by. What's funny is I discovered KG this game and not a survival game, and I watch a lot of survival Let's Plays. Well, you came to the right place then, because I've got a lot of survival for you to watch. Darn it. So a report today that said we are going to lose a second of time in 2029. Does that have anything to do with that asteroid that's going to almost hit us? What is it called? Apophis? C6? What is that? Makes me think of Counter-Strike. Right. Miss Franklin, thank you for joining the cage crew. Appreciate it. Welcome. Oh, Civilization Sex? No, but I saw that. You see that new game Millennia or whatever? That looks pretty cool. Robert Beasley, thank you for the super chat. Keep up the good work. Thank you. I will. Um, Jody Farrell, thank you for the super chat. Recently found your channel, love it. Well, thank you, welcome. Farrell, is it Farrell? Like Will Farrell type? I don't know, probably. Sorry. I was just about to ask you if you're related to him. Mr. 
Main Rarudo upgraded to Fabled Survivor oh, tier. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Robert Beasley, thank you for joining the Cage Crew. Fabled Survivor Team, you guys are awesome tonight. Thank you. I'm definitely streaming this at least tomorrow. I'm, I'm thinking about streaming this over the next four days. Right. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I won't be here on um, Sunday. I'll be going over families for uh, Easter. So um, there won't be a stream on uh, Sunday. So in, to make up for that, I'm thinking about just streaming straight through until Saturday. And I wasn't sure how, much, how many people would show up, but people are showing up. People are active. So you know what? Definitely be streaming this tomorrow. We definitely be streaming this Saturday, 100%. Probably streaming it tomorrow as well, and also probably streaming it Friday. Um, Gidget, thank you for the super chat. Thanks for making it entertaining to watch all of your streams and playlists. I tried to watch two different. I tried to watch two different YouTube streamers play this game and barely got through 15 to 20 minutes. Very painful. Yikes. Well, thank you. I'm glad um you're finding something here. You're not finding other places. That's wonderful. I'm definitely trying my best. Uh, for those who are wondering, we're, we're waiting for um, store level 81, and we need $34,600. And then we will be getting uh, another set of books. And after that, we'll be saving up $52,000, and we'll be saving that up for the next expansion of the store. Is there any correlation between people who play, who enjoy this type of games and survival zombie games? Is there an age thing? Maybe just wondering. I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question because I do notice that people who like survival games will also like sim games. I, I've been noticing that. I'm not sure. Is it like... I, I honestly don't know. The organization of it? The strategy of it? Uh, minor perforation? Uh, thank you very much for the super chat. Finally caught a stream. Love your videos. Keep up the good work, Cage. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, that's all looking okay. Um, we need tuna and hummus. Probably want three of each, even though I don't have room for all three. Uh, I'm pretty sure some of them will be going up front. And uh, click that off, that, 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 and that. And it looks like we're going to need bread all right. as well. Let me get three of each of those. Pretty sure some of that's going to go in the front, too. You know what? Let's take the bread off. Well, yeah, let's do this. There we go. Jody Farrell, thank you very much for joining the Cage Crew. You guys are awesome tonight. Thank you. All right. About done with the day, almost $20,000. Not bad. <laughs> Can you hurry up, please? Oh, I'm all out of juice. All right, just about done here, guys. Um, oh, you should really wait until I ask because um, if you guys give the numbers too early, it might get lost between like the text. All right, how many negatives do you think we got here?
It's okay. I'm gonna say... Eight. Okay, here we go. There you go, eight. And nobody else said eight. Well, nope, soft. Soft Studios. Congratulations. Me and you were right. Everybody else was wrong. <laughs> oh, boy. Scallop, peanut butter, sugar, and butter. Scallop, peanut butter, sugar, and butter. Can someone write that down, please? Scallop, peanut butter, sugar, and butter. Scallop. Uh, let's go with 350. Peanut butter. Uh, 575. Brown sugar. Looks good. Let's make sure that's the proper one. Nope. That's a light brown sugar. Oh, it's actually pretty good. What was the last thing? Uh, <laughs> miser. Shut up, miser. Crap, what was the last thing? Scallop, peanut butter. Oh, darn it. What was the last thing? Butter was the last? Yes, very good. We'll leave where it is. Meanwhile, Rudo, thank you for the super chat. The funny part is, I'm not as crazy about sim games as some people, but I do like the long, dark, and stranded deep. I hated Subnautica. I'm too much. I'm too much of a coward, too scared to go in deeper. I didn't. I wasn't. I liked Subnautica until they put on that like, story stuff and it started getting in the way of the game, and then I started getting like just irritated with it. So, I'm not a fan of the long dark because you can't really build in it or anything. You're just kind of moving from place to place. Or, and we are going to need some books. Let's get some, some whiskey and some beer. Whiskey... Or whiskey is expensive as hell, man. Beer. Uh, four of those. How many did I get? Two. Okay. Get two of those. Three of those. Um, we need the blue six packs. Six packs. We'll just get one of these. Kind of round it out a little bit. Uh, what's the other thing I needed? Oh, we need cheese. Crap. Cheese! Five. Five. Five and five. Let's pay some bills. There we go. Meanwhile, Rudo, thank you for the super chat. I more like to watch people that play the Long Dark, especially 500 day videos. They are pretty fun. Wow. Oof. <laughs> That's a lot of work, man. See you later, Paper Mushrooms. Thanks for stopping by, bud.
Don't forget to like the video, guys. Really helps out the channel. I don't think I'm going to make it to store at level 8. Well, I'm trying to think. I have to record after this stream. I'm trying to think if I can make the $36,000. Or, wait, what was it? 36000 or 30600 I don't remember. 34000 I'm just going to say $35,000. I don't know. I, I got to be able to make the $35,000 and get to store level 81 by the end of the video I record. Tonight? Maybe. Maybe. I'll probably push hard for it. Although I can't go to bed super early tonight now because I'm trying to get up early to exercise. Since I'm going to be streaming the next four days. What's the big difference between living in New Jersey and Missouri? Honestly, not much. Uh, maybe the weather. It's a lot, like, drier out here. I am said I said mean why Rito's last super chat right where I talked about the long long dark especially the 500 day videos pretty sure I did people in Missouri are much nicer than people in New Jersey yeah yeah I lived in Central Jersey so like the people down there were a little nicer. Maybe about 10k in the last hour. Yeah. You know what's funny? Like, I feel like driving in Missouri is actually more dangerous in a lot of ways than New Jersey. There's not as many people here, but the thing is, in Missouri, everything's a highway. Like every, I go on my like if I gotta go anywhere, I'm on like a major highway. They're doing like 85 miles an hour. Like in New Jersey, I don't go on the highway unless I'm going somewhere far. Yeah, the people that drive here drive. I found the people here crazier and more dangerous than the people in New Jersey. Just because everyone's on the the highways. <laughs> when I visited you in New Jersey, there were no less than three accidents. One flipped car <laughs> 100 feet from the roadway in less than five minute drive from each other. <laughs> I don't see a lot of that, Pig Hammer. That must have been you. They were probably like, oh, Pig Hammer's coming. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, exactly. Pig Hammer seems to be the one constant in this story. It's like yeah, it's like talking to a lady and she's like, "Yeah, I had a I had a boyfriend like a year ago, but he was a jerk and we broke up. And then I had another boyfriend, he was a jerk, and then my last boyfriend, he was a real jerk." And it's like, "Well, you know, at some point you got to look in the mirror, Pig Hammer."
Okay. Uh, let's do the books next. We're going to do ABC and Red Book. And I'm going to close my window because it's starting to get a little chilly in here. Stretch time. Uh, uh, okay. Do the lights turn off in the morning? Yes, they do. You have to turn them on. I usually turn them on 5, 5.30 p.m. Story room is like a maze. No, it's not a maze. It's a circle. Unless you mean it's amazing. <laughs> Hurry up over there. I don't has all day. So getting $35,000 should be very doable. Getting store level 81 is going to take a while. I could just put on a movie or something or a TV show. The thing is, like I said, I can't be going to bed super late. So, yeah. I'm 99% sure tomorrow's video will be me buying the, the, the store 81 book license. Not 99%. I'm about 85% sure. It just depends on how long it's going to take. All right, guys, how many negatives? I'm officially asking how many negatives we getting today. I'm going with five. See, everyone wants to pick what I said because I was right last time. Smart. Come on, Main Waradu, 40? Really? Main Warudo? Five it is. Oh, I was one off. Who said six? Um, Russ Stel Stellard. Stellard. Good job, man. Very good. All right. Hot sauce. Yeah, let's go at 450. Open up. I don't remember what I ordered, so I must... Oh, it was books. That's right. All right, so let's see if there's not... All right, so we need um, pasta, no white, red vodka. Pasta, no white, red vodka. Pasta, no white, red vodka. And all the cereals, black and red coffee. Um, oh my goodness, peanut butter, honey, peanut butter. Honey. And muscle milk. Blue box. These. French fries. I don't know what those things are called. I want to say ham or. Yep, ham. Put stuff away. 
Your inv and Shadow video is up to 1k views. Ugh, it's awful. Considering how long it's been up. I can't believe how bad it did. I know there's a lot of people doing it, but... There's a lot of people doing it in Shadow when it first came out, and I still did well. I don't think people are very interested in it. Oh, yeah, vegetable. Man, forget it. Like, I'm not going to be able to keep up, so whatever. If I'm going to stay open, we're going to run out of stuff. It's just, that's it. No way around it. You cost me a few hundred on games. <laughs> yeah, but the memories will last you a lifetime. My husband, thanks goodness I don't have a game computer. Otherwise, we would be broke. I see a lot of Cage's games. Um, I want to download them, but can't. <laughs> there you go. So just don't get that gaming computer. You guys will be fine. How many items can you purchase at one time? Uh, you could you could do ten items per order. How many can you have out here? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really want to like push it. Like I don't want to like lose items if they start disappearing or something. I have not played the update yet and don't want any spoilers on Enshrouded. Okay, fair enough. Oh, I'll have one sooner or later. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured that. Oops. Turn on those lights in a minute. I started gaming when Coleco Vision was a thing. Oh my goodness, it's even before me. I, I started with the Atari Atari Twenty Six Hundred, was which was the same basic, you know, uh, time in gaming. But I only had the Atari like. We, I didn't even ask for the Atari. It's just someone had it in my house. Like, I don't even know who they got it for. But we, we had an Atari. And um, and it was awesome. But I think like a, like within a year, I got an NES. Damn, Keys, you going to buy the whole block out? Hell yeah, bro. going to start playing Slumlord Simulator. Man, I wish I had a Commodore 64. That was probably like the best gaming system of its time. But it was also the most expensive. At least I think it was. Main Warudo, thank you very much for the super chat. This may sound like me being uncultured, but what is a ColecoVision? No, not at all. It's not. 
especially if you're not from America or you're not like like older. Um, is it was a gaming system. Um, I don't know what year it came out, but I think it was the late seventies. It came out around the time of the Atari. I remember they were famous for uh, having a, the best port of Donkey Kong, and I I want to say that like Nintendo promised Donkey Kong exclus exclusivity to Atari, and then Coleco came out with Donkey Kong, and they weren't supposed to, or whatever, and it was like a big thing. 1982, all right, all right. They were a little late to the party there. You know what, I'm just gonna get four of those two. And we're gonna get two potato, uh, no, not potatoes. Oh yeah, we'll get two of those. There, cleaning, one, two. I'll hold off on the bills for a minute. Look at this place. It's popping. Sega Genesis, hell yeah. I started off with the Psycho Genesis, playing Shinobi the Ninja. I thought you were being funny. <laughs> Sega Genesis with um, Revenge of Shinobi. Yeah, that was a great game. They, wasn't that the, the Revenge of Shinobi? That was the one with um, where they had Spider-Man and Batman in it. And then they were going to get sued, so they had to take him out with future cartridges. But there's still the old cartridges that have the Batman and Spider-Man in there. I think the ColecoVision did have cards you put in the controller. I'm pretty sure. I was 18 in 1982, and the puns had just, the puns had just got the tables with games inside them, wasted my anniversary there, and then, wow. Pubs, yeah, I wasn't sure. Pubs, yeah. So you're, you're from UK or whatever, right? Since you called it a pub? Scotland. Okay, you know what I was gonna say. I was gonna say Scotland, because um, I don't know pubs. This makes me think of Scotland or, or Irish. Plus, Gavin sounds like a I don't know. It sounds like a Scottish or Irish name. All right, guys, you can start now. Oh, no, don't start now. No, hold, oh, don't start now. Sorry, I didn't realize there was three more people on, online. Main Warudo, thank you for the super chat. It sounds like an early version of VR. Am I completely wrong? Yeah, you're completely wrong. And not, not VR at all. The early version of VR was the Nintendo... Um, uh, what was it called? What was that VR thing for Nintendo that, like, crashed and burned? I can't remember the name of it. I can't believe I can't remember, can't remember the name of it. Yeah, Virtual Boy. Yeah, what a piece of crap that was. <laughs> Nintendo didn't fail often, but when they did, oof. Okay. Okay. I'm going to ring people up tomorrow. Could you please go faster? Don't you want to go home, bro? I remember Tenchu Stealth Assassins on the, the PlayStation. That was an awesome game. All right, guys. Now's the time. Let me know in the let me know in chat how many negatives did I get today? I'm gonna go with six. Meanwhile, Rudo, thank you very much for super chat. Mind you, I was born in 1998, so yeah, before my time. Wow, you're a youngin'. You're a whippersnapper. You're even younger than my wife.
Okay, here we go. Six. Oh my goodness, okay. All right, so we're really running out of stuff. Uh, still 50, 5,300, so 11, who said, who said 13? 13, 13, 13, nobody, nobody said 13, wow, okay, well, that, I, I'm surprised it was that high, um, flower and BK beer, flower and BK beer, F flower, uh, six, yeah, let's go with seven. And BK Beer, that's the, um, let's see, he's right here. Mm, 275? There we go. So what did we run out of? Oh, oh, that's right, the greens. All right, I should probably order those. All right, so we need poppers, french fries, and veggies. Poppers, french fries, and veggies. Poppers. We're going to need three of those. Veggies. Green beans. Fries. What else are we missing? We'll be out of wine. And bleach. Eh, good enough. All right, let's get this show on the road. All right, open. You were born in 1980? Oh, so are you Gen X or not? I think you're Gen X if you're born in 1980, but that's the last year. I mean, it's right on the verge. Like, 81 is not Gen X anymore. I mean, let's face it, Gen X is the best generation ever, right? I mean, can we all just agree on that, please? Are you sure the end of Gen X is 85? I'm pretty sure it's 80. Yeah, I thought I figured it was eighty. I could Google it, but I'm I'm ninety percent sure it's nineteen eighty. Boomers unite! <laughs> hey, how's it going, man? All right. You ever put vodka in your cereal? Because I think this guy's going to. Have a nice day. Let's go, man. Nice tweed jacket, bro. Exact change. Love it. Have a good day. What's up, man? Oh man, this, this stuff's making me thirsty. 116.75. Have a good day. Please give me my participation trophy. Oh man, part when, oh, 
the idea of participation trophies just brings my blood to a boil. Hey, how's it going, lady? All right, some prosciutto, huh? Exact change. Have a nice day. I bought this game last week after seeing your series on YouTube. How you liking it, Devils? It's pretty dope, right? Would you give Kelvin a participation trophy? No, Kelvin would have earned his trophy. Yeah, I mean... He's been legit. MVP. Alright. I'm going to hold off for purchasing some stuff for the rest of the day. Aisle one is open, people. Are you blind? Are you blind? Oh, we got Psycho Sid and Psycho Steve. Is there a box in the street? Oh, good call. Thank you. I enjoyed it for a few days. Got a bit boring after a while, though. I'll come back after a few updates. That's cool, man. How many hours did you play? Cock block Scott. <laughs> what kind of trophy did he get? Um, it depends on the 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 version of the the uh, the mist I'm playing, right? Because some versions he, he's not. I don't even know if he's in the game right now. So, hello, lady. Somebody's got to poop. Oh my goodness! You definitely have to poop after you eat all that sushi. Two seventy five. Hell yeah! MVP. She's getting a trophy. A real trophy. What's up, man? $12? Watch it. You're on a short leash, buddy. Watch it. When I think of trophies, I think of Happy Gilmore wanting to change it. Yeah, he wanted to put a little hockey guy on top of there. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Adam Sandler, but man, like, the one-two punch of Happy Gilmore and the Water Boy is unbelievable. No, 62.50. Have a nice day. About 25, 30 hours? Okay, so you, yeah, you enjoyed it. You enjoyed it. That's cool, man. Line one is open, you dolts. Unbelievable. I watched Billy Madison somewhat recently, and I know it's like kind of a classic for a lot of people. I I did not like it. And I well, I really hated the beginning. I thought Adam Sandler was obnoxious and just irritating in the beginning. But the second half was definitely better. Gatorade. Water sucks. It really, really sucks. Water sucks. <laughs> cool, devils. I think that Waterboy was much better than Happy Gilmore, by the way. And I think I'm in the minority there. Like, everyone I talk to, they always say uh, Happy Gilmore is better, but I think Waterboy blew Happy, like, was way better than Happy Gilmore. But I really love Happy Gilmore. So that just goes to show you how much I like the water boy. Yeah, I know I'm missing product. It's okay. It's all right. Sid 
Psycho Sid, Evil Ed, and Crazy Carl. It's Psycho Sid, Psycho Steve, and I don't have a name for the third one. Water is amazing. Do you guys know how much stuff you can make with water? Yeah. I mean, in Sons of the Forest, like, it's it's mandatory. I didn't like Big Daddy. The Big Daddy was, like, less comedy and more serious, and I don't watch Adam Sandler for serious stuff. Hey, how's it going? All right, exact change. Love it. Have a good day. Happy Gilmore, not in my top ten. Wow, that's amazing. I think it's like I think it's the second best movie. I have not seen Wedding Wedding Singer. I have to watch that. I didn't think I've been watching um, Adam Sandler's old stuff on SNL. I don't even think he's that funny on SNL. Like I'm watching SNL and I'm watching like Bill Hader and that time frame with that chick he always likes to do like skits with and that other guy, like the Californians guy. Stuart, what are you doing here? You know, like those guys. Those guys were funny, man. Adam Sandler, eh. he sings funny songs. It was funny when I was like five, but I mean, not five, but when I was younger. Um, I don't think he's, I think he's okay. I, I think there's, I think the Bill Hader uh, time of Saturday Night Live was the best time in Saturday Night Live. What's my favorite movie of any genre? Um, it would probably be a Quentin Tarantino movie. Maybe, I don't know. It depends on the what the day. I mean, Kill Bill was freaking dope. Uh, Pulp Fiction was really good. Um, Reservoir Dogs. Hell, I even like the stuff he wrote, like uh, True Romance. Even though he didn't direct it. Oh, Fight Club. Okay. Fight Club was... I'll say Fight Club was my favorite movie. Coming from Gen X, Fight Club was like... Yeah. Yeah. I did like... I did like Chris Farley. I do like Chris Farley. Uh, the motivational speaker. You know, down by the river. You know? That was really funny. But just from all the stuff between the Californians and... Something Da Vinci, the Italian thing that Bill Hader does. Um, Stefan, you know, uh, just ridiculous amount of stuff with Bill Hader. That is really, really funny. Oh, sorry, guys. I didn't realize I just got talking about Saturday Night Live. I didn't realize we're done here. Okay, um, guys, let me know how many negatives. I'm going to say 15. I have not seen Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Okay, here we go. Oh, seven? Wow, I thought it would have been a lot worse than that. Um, sushi small. Sushi small. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, let's go with 2250. That's not bad. All right, guys, I do have to call the stream here. Um, I got to record an episode after this. So, am I going to get to 30? Am I going to get to 35,000 and store level 80? I'm going to do it. Uh, if I have to be up late and I can't work out tomorrow, so be it. I'm getting, I'm getting there tonight. Uh, and that video will be up tomorrow. Um, guys, thank you very much for hanging out with me tonight. Uh, don't forget, it's not too late to like the video. Uh, and also, if you got here late and you missed like most of the stream, this will be up as a video. This is going to be a straight-up video. I know it's going to be a two-hour and 40-minute video, but you could watch it here and there and kind of get through it over a few days. Uh, you know, YouTube should remember where you were in the video. And uh, this is uh, part 36. So thank you for the likes. Thank you for the super chats. Thank you for Cage Crew members. I am 85% sure, officially 85% sure, I will be streaming this again tomorrow. So hope to see you guys tomorrow and have a good rest of your evening.